Hello all fellow YouTubers and fellow paracord uh, tires. This is Michael, the Madison County paracordist. And as you can see, I just received a package from Chuck at Bayou Bug Knot and Tools. And uh, now normally I don't do these kind of videos, but uh, after opening it up and seeing the quality of the, uh, the items he sent me, I figured, you know, it was worth letting everybody know uh, what I got. So the first thing I got here, oh yeah, look at that. That's my uh, custom made Marlin Spike made by Chuck Alford. Uh, it's about, uh, I think he said it's about six inches long, five and a half to six inches long. Uh, got nice finger grooves right down here, uh, right up here. You know, it's got a spot where I can tie a nice Turk's head knot. You know, kind of dress it up a bit. I mean, literally, you know, has a mirror finish to it. You know, came wrapped. Um, you know, so it wouldn't get uh, scuffed up. You know, during uh, shipping or anything. Uh, very nice product. I look forward to using it on uh, something I tie this evening. That here. <clears throat> now, I also uh, got a couple of paracord fids from him. Uh, if people don't know what paracord fids are, they're long needles that's used to uh, weave in uh, other pieces of paracord in and out of a uh, tighter weave that you've already done. Got two different fids from him. The first one looks to be about five and a half to six inches I didn't put it on a measuring tape but uh, got a nice flat kind of rounded into it uh, be great for long Turks head knots uh, you know doing knife wraps and nice long decorative knots uh, nice brass uh, finish to it nice and polished you know it looks like it'll slide real well in and out of some of those tighter weaves And then I got a second fid, same style. As you can see, it's got the nice flattened tip. And I like it's kind of rounded off a bit here, so it's not going to catch, you know, and um, fray the paracord when you're trying to get it in those tight weaves. Uh, nice and polished. Definitely looks like a quality. Uh, fid can't really see it here but it's got you know some nice grooves in on the end there so it looks like it'll really grip the paracord well <clears throat> now a, a newer item um, I'm actually the first to get this this was a uh, hot off of his workbench is his new let me get it in the frame here the new Kubaton keychain self-defense item here you can see it's uh, made in the same sort of style as the uh, Marlin spike with a uh, shorter you know blunter tip on it uh, nice one inch you know keychain ring up here at the top uh, I thought it would be heavier uh, from how it looks you know but you could definitely have this on your keychain um, in a bag in your pocket you know and you know, I mean, it's not going to break. I mean, you know, it's it's a good, solid item. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't weigh as much as it would look. But, uh, yeah, de definitely a nice piece right there. Nice quality workmanship. The grooves, you know, I mean, all this is nice and clean. Um, you know, definitely be adding this to... Uh, to my keys here soon along next to my uh, Turk's head you know keychain but uh, definitely a quality item uh, if anybody's interested in, uh, in any of these items as you can see here it's a uh, Bayou Bug Knots and Tools uh, his name is Chuck Alford I would highly recommend his fids you know I mean uh, they, I mean they look quality you know I mean, you can tell a lot of uh, care and time is Put into making those but um, he also has a Facebook page 
which uh, Bayou Bug Knots and Tools on Facebook. It's a group for uh, people who like paracord and uh, you know, like tie knots. You know, it's a great community. A lot of really cool people there that know a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, so uh, you know, check them out. And uh, as always, if you like my video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.